the Macintosh 512K Appendix A, transferring archive software from the internet to the 512K. Okay, I'm done. In the Macintosh 512K video, I offered to show how to get software from an archive site like Macintosh Garden to a disk that will run on a 512K. Not a lot of people are going to need this information, so I kept it separate from the main video. Leaving it out kept the runtime under control, and I also thought it might help improve the female viewership of my channel. Here are Scott Adams' 12 classic adventures, all on one 400k disc image. Copyright 1984. I download this with my modern day Mac, and get a Stuff It compressed file. I need to put it on a CDR or USB drive. To bridge the divide between a 512K and a modern Mac, I have a Power Mac 8600 with a USB card installed. Floppy and USB never coexisted on a standard configuration of a Mac, so the machine will have to have an add-on like this in order to work if you go the USB stick route. Putting it on a CDR is a lot more flexible, that is if your modern Mac still has an optical drive on it. I don't own one of these anyway, so it doesn't matter. The bridge computer needs to have a floppy and the classic Mac OS. On the 8600, I uncompress the SIT file with Aladdin's Stuff It Expander, which should already be installed in the Internet Utilities folder. I get a .image file, which is the format for Apple's disk copy utility, which should also be present here. I also need a blank 400k floppy or 800k floppy that's been formatted to 400k. You can't use a 1.4 meg high density floppy. If you don't have a 400k disk, you can format an 800k disk to 400k using an older Mac like a Macintosh SE. Now, if you have a fancy 800k disk drive upgrade on your 512, and many do, you don't have to go through the 400k formatting step. So in the disk copy utility, even though it says to drag the image to the window to make a copy, the 8600's macOS can no longer mount the old MFS formatted disk images. Instead, select Make Floppy, open the image file, Insert the 400k floppy. We get to watch Clarice the dog cow entertain us while we wait. Okay, done. Now the 8600 tries to access it, but even though it created it, it doesn't know what it is. Just eject and step down to your 512K or other 80s Mac. And there we go. Magic. Oh, and something else I forgot to mention about this 512K. Uh, what? The Macintosh 512K. Appendix B. No, no, this doesn't need to be a separate appendix. This 512K was from Saudi Arabia. How it got to Canada, I have no idea. I just bought it off a local guy years ago. And so the keyboard has Arabic characters. Pretty neat. Anyway, keep in mind some of the archive software is formatted for PC emulators and may require different steps to get it to disk. Or it just may be impossible, but this video should provide a jumping off point to get you started. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.